Good morning, superstars. I hope you have had another shining day of learning at home. For tonight's read aloud, we are going to be reading a book that uses a lot of rhyming words. So I want to remind you about what rhyming words are. Rhyming words are words that have the same end sound. That same, they sound the same at the end of the word. So let's do a little bit of review. Hmm. Rhyming words would be dog and frog because fog is at the end of both words. Let's try it. D, og, fr, og. They both have og at the end. Now, I'll choose an example with my dog. So let's take Winston's name. Winston. If I wanted a word to rhyme with Winston, it would have to have the same end sound. So, wa, instant. Okay, it has to end with instin. Hmm, Winston and, let me look at the word. Princeton. Winston, Princeton. Do they rhyme? They sure do, because they both end with instant. Now, let's try another example. What about Winston and Waffle? Winston and Waffle. Do they rhyme? No. They both have the same beginning sound, w, but that doesn't help us with rhyming. So, Winston and Waffle. Winston ends in instant. And waffle ends in awful. Are instant and awful the same? No, so they can't be rhyming words. So, a rhyming pair with Winston would be Winston and Princeton. Now, we're all ready to read our book. It is a silly book that uses a lot of rhyming words, so make sure you're watching to see which words rhyme. This book is called Dog on a Frog by Kess and Claire Gray and Jim Field. said the frog. But I like sitting on frogs, said the dog. Frogs are all squishy and squashy, and when you sit on them, they go croak. You know the rules, said the cat. Cats sit on mats, frogs sit on logs, and dogs sit on frogs. Well, I'm changing the rules, said the frog. From now on, dogs sit on logs, not frogs. How those all had the same end sound? Dogs, logs, frogs, all rhyming words. Really? said the dog. Really? said the frog. Dogs sit on logs and cats sit on mats. Ouch! What will bears sit on? asked the dog. Bears will sit on stairs, said the frog. What will slugs sit on? asked the dog. Slugs will sit on plugs, said the frog. Slugs will sit on plugs. Flies will sit on pies. Crickets will sit on tickets. And moths will sit on clocks. Okay, lots of rhyming words. What will leopards sit on? asked the dog. Leopards will sit on Shepherds, said the frog. Leopards will on, sit on shepherds, and cheetahs will sit on fajitas. That is pretty funny. You're really getting the hang of this, said the dog. I know, said the frog, and that's not all. Noos will sit on canoes, pigs will sit on wigs, and boars will sit on oars. That is an oar right there. So those boars are sitting on oars. Boar, boar. What will whales sit on? asked the dog. Whales will sit on nails, said the frog. I'm not sure that whales will like that, said the dog. They don't have to like it, said the frog. They just have to do it. <sighs> what will dragons sit on? asked the dog. Dragons will sit on wagons. Dragons will sit on wagons, mice will sit on ice, kittens will sit on mittens, and puppies will sit on guppies. Guppies are a type of fish. What will canaries sit on? asked the dog. Canaries will sit on fairies, said the frog. Canaries will sit on fairies, possums will sit on blossoms, hens will sit on pens, baboons will sit on balloons, and poodles will sit on... 
noodles aren't going to sit on noodles, gasped the dog. They are now, the frog smiled. That is a very grumpy poodle. <sighs> Hold on, said the cat. If dogs sit on logs and cats sit on mats, bears sit on stairs, slugs sit on plugs, flies sit on pies, crickets sit on tickets, moths sit on cloths, leopards sit on shepherds, cheetahs sit on fajitas, noose sit on canoes, pigs sit on wigs, boars sit on oars, whales sit on nails, dragons sit on wagons, mice sit on ice, kittens sit on mist, kittens sit on mittens, puppies sit on guppies, canaries sit on fairies, possums sit on blossoms, hens sit on pens, baboons sit on balloons, and poodles sit on noodles. What are frogs going to sit on? asked the dog. Guess what's something that a frog could sit on? I hear where the rhymes of frog. These, said the frog. Oh my goodness, he broke the rules. Does lawn chair rhyme with frogs? That silly frog was making up all those rules. I'm pretty grumpy, just like them. And that was the end. Boys and girls, there were so many rhyming words in that book that I ran out of breath while I was reading them. So I have a challenge for you. Now your challenge is to think of as many rhyming words as you can. Make a list with a parent or talk with the, talk about those rhyming words with someone in your family, someone who's at home with you right now. For example, this is a tree and something that rhymes with tree would be free. Hmm, I have a frame right here and something that rhymes with frame would be a game. So boys and girls, look around your house, find something that you see and make a rhyming word to go with it. It can be silly or real. Boys and girls, I hope that you have enjoyed our book. I hope you have a wonderful day learning, and I um, can't wait to see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Good night.